everybody. Hopefully you could hear me. Um, Woohoo! Okay, happy birthday, Aloy. We are starting a random casual stream of Horizon Forbidden West today. <laughs> I'll get into this in a little bit. I just want to go over the settings quickly before we officially start a new game, and I'll talk about the game in a little bit too. So just so we know, here's the starting settings here. Um, we're just going to go through all of this and I'll talk about it in a little bit more later on. These are my current settings right now. So as you can see, we're using exclusive full screen. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that just yet. Um, I don't know. I may just switch it back to full screen because I have to switch between monitors quite frequently while I'm streaming. Um, and the alt stuff might get a little bit annoying. Uh, 1080p resolution because I am a pretty basic bitch. <laughs> uh, aspect ratio basic, refresh rate basic 60 hertz. Sorry, VSync is on. Whatever NVIDIA reflex load latency means, I'm gonna leave it on. I know there's a problem with it in a little bit, so I don't know if it's gonna cause me any issues, but we'll see. I haven't had any problems yet. Dynamic uh, DRS. We'll leave that off. We're using a DLSS upscale method, upscale quality, quality. And graphics, it's custom settings right now. So I'll get into this in a little bit though, but I just wanted to quickly show you the baseline, what I have here um, going forward. So let's head back. As you can see, we are using a mouse and keyboard right now, but that's not going to be the case for the most of the game. I prefer playing with a controller for this game. Um. Anyway. That's that. Uh, I think we're yeah. I think we're streaming. So let's uh, let's start a new game, and we'll just go through the opening cutscene. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on me. Okay. So anyway, I will be back to talk about the game as soon as the cutscene is over. Okay. See you soon. Oh, all right. We're going ultra hard. <laughs> If you choose Alter Hard, you will not be able to change the difficulty or adjust any difficulty settings related to it. Are you ready for the challenge? Yes, I am. Because I'm mad. And we're just going to go uh, guide it because I don't care. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. 
You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually. But, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to. These plants don't look like uh, the ones we're back the plants. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Wonderful. Okay. So. There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. All right, let's talk about this a little bit. So, um, just to be completely transparent. Oh, actually, before I do this, let me, uh, quickly. Hi. 
it is me. We are turning on cam today. Uh, <laughs> because it's a happy day. Anyway. Um all right. Yeah, let's talk let's talk a little bit about the game. Uh just to be completely transparent, this is not my first time playing Horizon Forbidden West. I have owned uh, this game on our PlayStation 5 and I have completed the game at least 3 times now. Once on Ultra Hard on PlayStation 5. Now, this is also not my first time opening this game on my uh, PC. Um, I, I did download this game on Steam as soon as it came out. And I did actually start playing it with the intention to, uh, to benchmark everything to make sure that we get the settings correct. And I just kept playing. <laughs> I, I did want to stream it. I did want to do a few recordings and everything, but I just got carried away. So I just kept playing and I managed to make it to... A little bit after Latopolis, I think. So just before Cauldron Mew, I want to say. Um, no, not Cauldron Mew. Sorry, Cal Cauldron Tau. Um, just before that, uh, before I decided to, um, well, you know, uh, start again, basically, because that's what I do. But I wanted to stream this very much, and today is a really good day to stream, and I think every Horizon Forbidden fa uh, West fan, any proper one at least, is celebrating Aloy's birthday today, and this is how I wanted to celebrate. Uh, I wanted just to share my game and just play around on stream. Okay, so what do we got here? It doesn't look bad, does it? Okay, so this is my PlayStation. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is on my PC. Uh, my specs are in the description below if you want to check it out, but uh, briefly, my uh, graphic card is a RTX 3060, 12 gigabyte. Um, it's an MSI Ventus, I believe, is a brand. And I am using my, uh, the CPU is an i5-10600K, not overclocked. Um, and uh, we're playing on 1080p, basic 60 hertz monitor. I'm, I'm a, like, I'm an old lady, so it's a basic setup all around but it works for me it still looks beautiful right and uh, yes i could imagine this game looks pretty on a 4k but as you can see i wear glasses so that doesn't matter <laughs> anyway um let's, see, let's go over my settings and we're just going to do a benchmark for the first little bit so uh yeah we went over this already and i did show you a little bit about this there exclusive full screen i don't know how, how I'm, I'm enjoying that because I have to alt tab to get to my OBS settings if I need them. So that's kind of annoying. Um, an audio, I think. Audio mix. Headphones default. Doesn't matter. Um, disability. Sorry, just want to make sure. Everything looks good here. Okay, as for my graphics, so what do I got here? It's cu currently custom. So when I was playing around with the game before, everything is uh, on uh, custom settings. I cannot play on ultra hard, uh, ultra hard, ultra. I can't play on ultra graphics basically because of my, uh, well, I have a mid system. Okay, so, but uh, after like watching some videos and benchmarks so for other, uh, and like ideal settings, uh, I figured out this is working for me. High, eight, and it's a tropic. Shadow quality, medium, screen space shadows on, SSAO on, screen place reflections, and everything else is set on high. And uh, I'm using DLSS of, DLSS, of course, on quality settings. So that uh, pushes the graphics up a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to and on my uh let's see here yeah we'll turn on the over performance overlay oops and we'll see how that works out for a bit so we'll sh uh we'll see if this uh looks okay so as you can see right now, it's 48. The reason why I'm kind of wary uh, um, about these settings is because this is the first time I'm streaming with these settings and I just want to make sure that uh, 
It is taking a bit of an FPS hit. Before, if I was not, if I did not have OBS turned on, everything would be a smooth 60 frames per second, if not a little bit higher. So, yeah, so it is taking a little bit of a FPS hit. So what I'm probably going to do just for the stream, and I know I hate this because it is with PC and and I know that I could play this on pretty settings, is I will probably set it to like about medium-ish settings or we'll leave it at 50 frames per second and we'll just kind of live with it. So I don't know. I don't know. It's not bothering me. It really isn't. It does dip down to like 45. It looks like a little bit, but yeah, it's it actually is dipping down. So let's uh, kind of like play around with the settings and see if we can't change it. Let's go down to medium. Oh, hurts my feelings, especially after coming off of performance mode in uh, PlayStation 5. But it still looks good, right? And now I could get 60 frames per second. Yeah, so... It looks, it looks so pretty. So what does medium do? So basically, reset medium, texture quality. I'm going to push the texture quality high. Uh, filtering, let's go to four, shadow quality. Yeah. Oh, this is going to hurt my feelings. I really like that. SSAO, screen space reflections. That affects water, doesn't it? Oh my god, no, I don't know. Hmm... Let's take a look there. Okay, so so far so good. If I push the texture quality a little bit higher. Um, here. Go oh, here. Yeah. Level of detail, let's go high. Oh my god, that looks so pretty though. Hair quality, I don't want medium, I want high. Or Eloy's hair. Eloy's hair is the star of the show. <laughs> I'll leave the crowd quality as it is. Terrain quality. Water quality, I want to leave high. These ones I want to leave high too. Default, parallax occlusion mapping. I don't know what that does, but we'll leave it off. Depth of field, that's fine. That's fine. Motion blur. Okay. Let's see how this works. So it looks like it's still pretty good. It does dip down a little bit, but it doesn't really affect it. So we'll keep it. We'll see how this works out. If it goes it like further, oh, why can't I go this way? Oh, that's right. I'm, <laughs> I haven't done the tutorial things yet. Okay. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah. Well, at least they make you feel better. All right. We should keep going. Okay. So now we can move forward. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yep, yeah. Worry, we will. Good idea. Okay, so now we can move. Now, let's just do all the tutorial stuff. <coughs> Some of the blight is... It's peeling off. Dead skin. <laughs> is that how it spreads? Ugh. Yeah. Those ruins. That's where let's we go need to between go. 40... I it's see a few ways down. Oh, it's dipping down. Okay. Oh, it's because what of this, isn't it? Exactly. Ooh, look at that Backup? texture. Well, um, it's an AI. It's um, it's hard to explain. So yeah, um, even on higher settings, I have had problems with the water and clouds and certain clouds. It does look weird and pixelated, and I feel like that's a bug. And I looked into it, and I think other people are having that issue too. Um, just take it back to medium. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Let's keep the frame rate a little bit today. Uh, a little bit of pop in. I mean, it still looks pretty, right? You're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I am. Um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. I don't, I don't know. know put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Find anything good? A few supplies. 
Medium settings doesn't look bad, right? Do, do, do. But if I screw around with it a little bit, title quality, screen space. I reflections. This affects water reflections. Let's leave that on low. Oh my god, the details here though. Quality, crowd quality, terrain quality. You could leave that on medium, I guess. Water quality, I want to leave it on high. High. I like these settings though. I mean, I guess I'm going to get 42 frames per second. 40 Are you going to jump? Ish. Go for a swim? Fastest way down. Mm -mm. I'm so torn. This only affects it on streaming. If I'm uh, if I'm streaming or recording, if I didn't have OBS on, I don't get the FPS hit. So kind of a bummer. But let's see. Let's see if I could change these a little bit. Mm. Maybe leave these sync off. And maybe go dynamic. Yes, yes. See how that works out. Uh, Sorry to anybody who is watching this right now. Okay, second here. Okay, exclusive full screen. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. How's our FPS now? Oh wait, there's way too much tearing. You traveled a long way to get here. I almost caught up to you a couple. Here's way too much tearing. Let's turn VSync back on. I think I broke it. <laughs> uh, this it? I do. Do, 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 do. Oh man. You guys are going to make me go back to level detail. Okay, let's just try medium here. Green quality, okay. Too. But it's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. Oh, oh, oh. Let's put the tearing. Hold on. I thought I fixed that. V sync on. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit better. So what did I compromise on here? So I custom high I lowered the texture filtering a little bit. Medium shadows, screen space on, low reflections, level of detail, medium, air quality, high, crowd quality, medium, train. But basically, like, you know, you won't, things won't look pretty from far away. Um, water quality and cloud quality, high. That just 
gives a lot of uh, detail for the like atmospheric detail that I like. Uh, field of view. This is like the highest there, so I could dip it down to basic, and I think that um. Yeah, I think that might have improved a little bit of frame rate, so maybe I'll just stay there. Um, yeah, so we made a few sacrifices for the stream. But now it looks like I could go 60 frames per second. There's no visible screen tearing. Okay. Can we do this? I forgot how to, I forgot how to dive. Ah, I couldn't dive. Okay. All right. Not bad. Hey, there's a box down here I never knew about. Go get that. Okay. All right. We'll keep the benchmark on for just a little bit, just for just to see how it goes while we play, and then I'll turn it off after a bit. Um, I want to see this? I do have another version of this PlayStation Five version. Clonox. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. Cross and there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Let's go, Viral. The water doesn't look bad. It's still got that weird pixely stuff, but like I said, I think that's a, a visual bug and I don't think I could help it. I think some people see it. And, um, but it looks a little bit better now, I think. I don't know. I could play. That's important. That's, that's all that's important. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. This will not be a speed run, but we will try to get this through this as quick as possible. Because I want to get to Bedant. Someone took down this machine recently. I don't know. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. I could fail miserably at. Good thing we already picked speed. up some Ridgewood. Right. As for the stream, right. I don't know how far I'm going to get into the stream. This is super casual because it's Aloy's birthday, but uh, if I do continue the stream, I will be discussing some spoilers. Oh, let's craft some arrows. Done. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock arrows free. Arrows ready. Let's the lock. I should remember to do the actual tutorial <laughs> stuff. Okay. So, come on, Marl, keep up. I look goddess. Already. What was this place? Okay. I don't know. The transmission. The uh, message I found it didn't say. Tell me that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too, and starve. We're not going to let that happen. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. Then some of them figured you really would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Anything else right there? Okay. Let's grab everything. A purple. Okay. Moving all of the sticks. Okay. Looks Down this like way. frame rate is still holding. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Seems to dip. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay. I don't want this sound shell. Let's see I'm if ready. I can concentrate. Grab it. I need it to face me. No, I need it to face me. Is 
you're not familiar with me, I am a shitty player. I don't know why I'm playing on ultra hard mode. Ultra hard mode. I play like a coward. I am trying to see if I can't uh, knock off that sound shell. I don't know if it's going to be possible for me to do that, but we'll see. Come on, dear. Show us that lovely... I guess not. Okay, fine. We'll just kill it. He's telling me rock. Oh shit. I can't see it. Ah. Uh, opponent removed. What got removed? Another one's oh. coming. Hold on. What got removed? I don't know. Okay. Also, to note, playing on the PlayStation. It's wired in because. Goodness. Uh-oh. Thank you, Barl. How Thanks, does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Yeah, at least I got a sound shell. Yeah, kind of. I see another ladder. Looks like it's stuck. Let's replenish. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. I kind of love how Aloy um, doesn't care about parties, but she cares about what other people are thinking after she's left. Someone she wants to know that she's tree. been loved, and she is. Okay. Let's keep going. I don't know. I am playing this game again. I'm a glutton for punishment. It is my favorite game. Got it. I love everything about this game. The characters, the gameplay, everything. I don't even know why I'm playing an ultra hard again. Um, it is just such a fun challenge for me to do. Yeah. And I think it makes me a better my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Over here. Going into a ruin of the old ones. God has protected us. Far as this? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Will Please okay register with it? reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. I love how Farl also tries this out. Please hold for identiscan. <laughs> Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. Nope. Okay, let's go in. I should be able to pry this open. I'm pretty happy with this. FPS is holding. It does dip a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was before. I'm, I'm not sure if that's because 
of DLSS um, dynamic resolution scaling. I think that's not bad. What if I... Yeah, we'll leave the level detail at medium. It's sad, but it's okay. We're not really focusing on the distance a lot anyway. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. We're gonna go through all the story beats. Ugh. What's that stench? The entire camp. Wiped out. I know it's sad. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Oh, that's right, we need to create this Maybe first. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Indeed. All right. So this is looking pretty okay. Poor guy. Acid burn. I'm gonna right turn off the off. overlay. Okay. So. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Turning off the overlay. Take that. Oh, can't use that yet. All right, let's focus. I'm no longer benchmarking, no longer playing around with the settings. So let's just get through this as quickly as we can. Machine cable. Mm -hmm. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Okay. Or maybe even make something better. Mm. You could use this workbench. We could use this workbench. Okay, let's craft that. Man, I miss New Game Plus. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Grab that. Oops. Grab that. <laughs> that better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please, proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil oh, our plans. I might be able to get up there. Wonder wow, in this that works. Auditorium. That pull caster is useful. <laughs> Too bad there's only one. <sighs> oh. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. 
flimsy, flimsy, flimsy parts. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was a little bit messy. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Oh. Ah, okay. There you go, Merle. Where is he? There he is. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Chop. push the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. A serious system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Creepy. Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. 
I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. So for those who are not familiar with the lore of this game, Far Zenith are a bunch of people back in the old days, a thousand years ago. I still ago. can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. You were just basically a bunch of rich assholes. Sure seems so, like it. I wonder what it's like up there. They built a ship the stars. that they were going to use in case, you know, Earth went to shit. So a bunch of rich folk could go and find somewhere else to live. That was to be their, basically their arc. Their focus might be able to help here. So when the world ended, they used that ship to try to get off planet. So as far as we know at this point in time, the Odyssey exploded in yeah, orbit yeah, when they I attempted to leave. Nope. Still not a fan. Not this early in the game. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. I've <laughs> all dealt with big machines before. He'll be okay. Up here. I wish he could have helped us, though. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. No, we don't. You take the left one. All right. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Go. I'm scared. Moving up. We'll be fine. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Indeed. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Yes, yes. Training. I gotta get closer and stay out of sight. Hook ourselves into this grass here. Rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Yeah. Just have to wait for the right moment. We will do that. We're gonna throw a rock right here. Oh, there. Now I have to take it down with a spear strike. If I do this any other way, it's going to fail. I'm gonna have to start all over again, so I have to do this the proper way. Because this is the tutorial mission. Mine's down too. Okay, let's grab this and this. All right, go back up here and um, loot your kill. Ten holes shards. Still important. More of those machines ahead. Oh. Okay, well, let's can't handle. ourselves in here. Okay. Get through this as quickly as possible. We can. Well, I get a little bit comfortable. Yeah, I. My bow's ready. Went to work today. It's been a trying time. <laughs> so I'm a little bit sore. And I have to speak with clients, run around been a whole deal. Uh, over here. Get this over with. Good night, sweet pants. in here and this and this there's that one there hmm. go through here maybe I 
get the sound. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Got them all. Including the burrow or sound shell. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Don't Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch with up. Barl's beard, Aloy. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry, my whiskers offend you. Anointed. I'll never get over it. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. I do believe my FPS is still holding. Yeah, still pretty smooth 60 FPS here. It does get a little bit choppy, I don't know why. I think when I move from place to place sometimes it just dips down a little bit and just kind of stutters, but it's not... The Osram must have used distracting. explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Oh. For Osram, this it's sucks. Later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not Dismantled blow yourself it. up. And got more supplies. Good for us. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. As soon as we get the parts. Against machines. Good idea. We'll make traps of our own. So yeah, even though I do want to stream 100%, I am a little bit low-key today because uh, I've been busy. Today. Okay. Just been... Uh, I need to craft a trap. Just doing a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of talking, a lot of like moving around, and a lot of... So I'm like kind of physically exhausted. My throat's a little bit sore, so... But I should be okay. So let's uh, make our trap. I think I can make at least there. two. Explosive trap made. Let's make three. Why not? If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Okay. Over here. Aloy. I think I see a way up. Don't think they spotted us. Way ahead of you. I've seen this machine before. Okay. The scrounger. That's new to me. That seems gonna be a little bit tricky. Are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Maybe. Uh oh. Please explode. Oh, he's gonna go back. Uh, to his original start position and then he'll continue this way. He won't get one shot because we're in ultra hard and they have more HP. Which I think for the tutorial area is balls. You should have the same amount of- oh. Poor darling. Okay, let's wait until Buddy over there is no longer paying attention. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna silent strike. This guy is... what's he doing? Okay. Go this way, and this way. Oops. 
is. Okay. Oh my goodness. What am I trying to do? Highlight the track. Thank you. Uh-oh. Come back. And then he's going to question whether he saw anything at all. While we wait back here, and we'll go back to his start point. Hopefully he'll track his way over there and get blown up. see anything. <laughs> you could come up just a little bit closer so I could stab you in the butt. Come on, darling. Let's go. You don't have all day. We're clear. Yes, we are. Let's keep going now. Okay, let's go loot. Yep. Yeah. Oh. This, and grab this, and grab this. And the shards over here. Of course, sparkers and shards. wonder what all this was for. Like, I know these were probably like office buildings and laboratories. They all have their secrets, but every place is different. I've always been really, really fascinated with old ruins in general. It's kind of neat to see how far that machine we saw earlier must be on the Oh, shit. Let's hope it doesn't come. I don't remember it being that loud. Okay. Up here. Up here. Yeah, like I said, I've always been really fascinated with old ruins. Like, they're still finding stuff from a thousand, two thousand. Like, up to ten thousand years ago, they're still finding buildings made from our old ones in our modern times. So it's fascinating to see like how our modern buildings will ha hold up. It's a big storm it's really up good up imagination, uh, imagining of it. And they're getting stronger and more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're... Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. Okay. That doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'm not going to read all the I'll data keep points. Keep an eye out for more data. I don't think I'm going to read all the data points. Way too many data points to read. If you are watching this, let me know if you'd like me to read all the data points. Looks like we've got to climb up. I don't know what this ladder is here for. It's kind of pointless. Um, go up this way. If I go up the other way, it's just going to collapse on me. So I think this is the best way. This place is really falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. The fire is following us. There we go. Looks like some kind of meeting room. All right. The door on the other side Trigger is this. locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions, 
Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, bro. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How because I wasn't born, I was mate by a machine it's why i'm motherless why i was cast out as an infant i don't understand what kind of machine can make a person remember when i said the backup is like a set of instructions it's more than that it's called gaia and for a long time she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself so she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? He's still confused, the poor boy. I don't think there's anything else in here. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Hey, thanks. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Okay, so we got this now. Okay. Yes. Let's keep going. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me while I scratch my eyeball. <laughs> Sorry. <Down here. gasps> Shit. I just like walked right over. It's okay. We're gonna be okay. Aloy is I fine. Think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that oh boy. I forgot about this. In the same direction we're going. Machines. I could try with a new weapon on it. Maybe. Or we could just leave it for the snake guy. The scrounger. We're just gonna sneak up on it and we're going to stab it. To start off. I shot it with one. And a lot of us. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. 
They didn't stand a chance. I'm very sorry, Ostrom dude. I like the Ostrom, they don't deserve to die. Even if they delve in places they should not be delving. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Anything else over here? I thought there might have been. Okay. Wow, I just tried to use my shield wing. <laughs> okay. I think we're okay, though. Seems so pretty. big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Oh. Okay, we'll grab this one. Oh. Uh oh. Machines patrolling ahead. Yes. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. This one just noticed us. That one's over there. Come on over. Sneak over here quickly. That one will come over shortly. Excuse me, Varl. Seriously. Alright. That one's already looted. This one's coming out. Come on over, buddy. Come on over. Oh, thank you, Varl. Okay. I didn't even get a chance okay. to shoot it, I think. <laughs> okay. Machine ripped right through the wall. Indeed it did. What's in here? Let's keep going. Is that a... There's a ladder in the back. Oh, I thought that was a data point. Okay, let's grab this. Nope. Tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, up here? she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. see Sona again in a uh... really nice I think okay here we go where are we part ways with Barl three of those things and if they slaughtered all those Osirim, we'll never get through to the data center. 
There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? I'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. All right, let's go. Get over to the shuttle. Hop. Hold down. <laughs> okay, and then we'll uh, let's see how quickly we can get through all of this without killing ourselves. Because that would be bad. If I can make it to that tower. I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. Oh, very good. It's coming right over. Okay, next. That one's dead. Okay, that one's over there. Do do do. Just wait till it comes over here and we will throw a rock. Oh, it didn't see us. Alright, go this way then. Come over. Get on with this. Okay. Sneak over. Problem. Okay, let's grab all the berries. Let's grab this rock. This uh supply chest that I didn't did not loot. It's <coughs> hard to breathe around this stuff. Well, yeah, let's not run through it if we can. Okay, let's grab this chest here. All right. There. That ladder can get me up to the top. Oh. Go. I'm gonna turn on benchmarks again, so I want to see how this part goes. Okay, there's a rail up there. Okay. I think I can reach it if I launch myself back that kind of point. Got it. Not a problem. Okay. I'm down. The ladder. I still hate the platforming here. Sorry, I don't hate the platforming. The platforming is fun. I hate heights. How's that? I hate in game heights. I am not so, over it. Well, Talked about this quite a few times. Leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. <laughs> okay. The storm's getting bad. I hate this part, especially. Made it. It sucks. Easy. 
God damn it. God damn it, my feet. <laughs> my feet get tingly. Oh, boy. That was uh, close. One rickety tower down. I don't know why this makes my hands sweat. Next. Bad. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. Stop swaying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's jump. Uh, let's get this over with. <laughs> Still not over. Well, where to go but up. This place is barely holding together. I know. I know, I know. Okay. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. Let's uh... I think there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall. I really don't do well here. Oh, great. More machines in my way. Just wait until this one comes along, and then we will. Yeah. Come along, dear. Come along. Okay, so what next for us? I think it's going to be a little bit tactical here. I'll use one of these. Mm. And it is boring to watch, but I have to be a little bit tactical here. Uh oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Patch your grass. Okay. Where'd he go? How did he not, How did he see me? Okay. Ah, oh, his friend is gone. Let's go this way. What's beyond here? We'll go and loot everything else in a bit. Where did Buddy go? Oh, here he is. Have a track. Okay, that's what I wanted. Maybe I don't need the bomb. I just need to just keep hitting it a few times. Made me so nervous. Okay, let's just loot everything that we can here. I think I saw a golden box here, yeah. A rather green box. Okay, I don't think there's any beans down below.
Uh, the cutscene shuttles caught drop up those again. Cables. Hmm. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? All right. Let me turn this off. Don't need that anymore. Scanning with my focus could help here. Just for the tutorial area, we'll just leave a um, performance overlay on. I'm just kind of curious how well it does, or how badly it does. And then for the rest of the stream, once we're out of here, then we will not have to worry about it. Oh my god, how have I, how have I forgotten how to do this? It wasn't that long ago either. <laughs> It was like last weekend. Uh, also, I'm uh, I'm acutely aware that I actually never finished my uh, Horizon Forbidden West PlayStation Five playthrough. Um, I didn't get through the Burning Shores. I didn't record the bur bur Burning Shores yet. I have played through the Burning Shores. I have finished through the end. I just didn't do the Ultra Mode, uh, Ultra Hard. One of the reasons is just basically I was, um... Because I share my PlayStation 5 with my husband. So... Connectors with the cables together. break it for sure. One down. I just need to climb higher. So it's kind of like awkward to... commandeer the PlayStation 5 at times. Also, one of the reasons why I bought the game again on the place... Um, sorry, I'm on on my PC. That's right. Not a decent PC. It's comparable to the PlayStation 5, I think. I built it with those specs in mind. Now, if I had the foresight, I would have, like, probably waited until later, until I could get a better uh, uh, graphics card. But, you know, I don't have the budget for, like, a thousand dollar graphic card at this point in my life. We'll see how it goes. Maybe the streaming thing will pick up. And if it does then I will likely invest in my gear a little bit more. There. But as it is, everything is just a hobby, right? Including gaming. There's the other connector. Okay, let's uh, do this one last thing. <laughs>
so s <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I can't keep missing. Oh, watch out for that acid. You know. Stop it. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. I believe I lost him. Alright, sweetie, let's go. Take another potion. Get it. on a rock. That could have been bad. I 
limit. It broke free. I gotta take this thing down fast. That may be lost ammo. Where my focus might find something I can use around here. No more shots. Time to drop it. Wait, please don't miss. Be squeezed. Squeeze attack is pretty bad. Just have to keep shooting at him. Uh oh. anymore. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. I know this is not my first time playing. I'm still hella surprised that I managed to one-shot that. Okay. Why can't I get that? Come on. Never mind. The trees stuck in rocks. Okay. That was still. That still had charge. Uh oh, acid. Let's keep going. Good here, so I think um I think we've looted everything that we can loot. Let's move on. All right, so I think uh the frame rate held out pretty good, so that's not too bad. Let's just uh head over to Once I get the backup. I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. Oh, is it still there? Okay, I should find the server room. I'm close. I have to be. Poor Eli, she's very desperate at this point. Like, 
Do you imagine searching the world without technology? She doesn't even have a car. Uh, what are these little data points? Just for clues. You find something that is so obscure. Please be here. No. <sighs> it's here. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Oh, Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzian's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Good job, Tate. Good job. Poor Aloy. So frustrated at this point. Aloy? Imagine. The goddess. And this guy comes in. There is no goddess. Spouting religion. I told you that alpha. already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone. Marl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <sighs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Ridden a horse before. This has got to be painful. I don't know how, how Aloy does it. Like, you're basically 
unsaddled bear back on a machine. I don't think those things were built for comfort. By the sun, it's true. She's come back. Oh, I miss Meridian. I am very fully aware that I haven't finished my um, Rise of Zero Meridian's Dawn playthrough either. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the Rod. champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I cut the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. <laughs> One second. So often, the controller stops working. There we go. Okay. That's if I switch from uh, monitor to monitor. I have a feeling about this. I don't know. I could pull this thing out of the box. What? Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Mm hmm. Not a problem. Let's go this way. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Way ahead of you, Aloy. How goes it, Hammerhead? How goes it, Hammerhead? I would like to reply to that lady. Okay. Yeah. One of these days. To keep me down. Okay. There we go. That. Oh, no. how to cross over to the spire? Should be able to get up there now. Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. It looks like he tricked me. 
Maybe he transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Looks like this panel's ajar. An elevator? Let's see. Really, Bainey, didn't it? to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is... I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, then why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. Obligatory... Horizon Forbidden West fan thing that I will miss and Sredic a silence. It's what an amazing choice. character that silence is. <laughs> Better let Varl and Murad know what I found. Okay. You see me. Got somewhere to be. Sorry. Let's just go through all this this stuff. Just for posterity, I guess. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. Like she just machines, basically talked. I don't know. Should I? Like, for should I? He dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Oh, that's right, her statue. Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? That's new. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Okay. Talk to these two. You went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors 
controls much of it. The Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. <laughs> I love her. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. Hm? It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... That's cute. Uh... Who's it? Vinasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Hmm? Really? Must you? I love them. Try it on. <laughs> It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I'm gonna just take a few screenshots because why not? Uh, okay. and I think it is okay. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Level of detail pops in. Um, Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. At a closer Itamen, distance, I notice. What do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Hmm? Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. Mood mood. I'm not even sorry. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Okay. We will talk to Avad last. Let's go up here. There. The workbench. There we go. Over here! Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Override and Stone. Uthid Vanasha. Uthid. Vanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. 
You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the Mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, Little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Missy! Look at you! Uh, okay. Machine carcasses. Sweet remnants from the Battle of the Alight. Both of this just for, again, posterity. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. And then it looks like the shrine. Memorial. Looking sharp as ever. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. A lot of people did that. brave people defended this place from Hades. I know you see me. All right, Abad. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry. Avad, it's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I'd hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger, but it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce, in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Um, embassy? Embassy. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Yes, Our delegation maybe. will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. For Shav. That shit doesn't One work. One of our on finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. For Shav is my cousin. 
Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Uh, years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. Uh, hope for peace? How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. He doesn't <laughs> stop, doesn't he? <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Shav? Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Itaman? Itaman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. All right, time to go. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Hmm? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. All right. This version of Aloy is a kinder, gentler Aloy. She's going to go hard all the way through in this playthrough. At least we'll try. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. I don't see them together. What happens after? I don't shit them. I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Uh-huh. So, um, I am not an Aloy shipper. 
I'm actually a non-shipper. I think that Eli... I, I would have preferred me that Eli was well, that's everyone. asexual, aromantic, nice to catch up. thorough ace, no. as you were. Um, I don't necessarily Brother, think that every Eli. game needs romantic options. I don't mind this story. I don't mind, like, you know, when stories go there, right? But I don't necessarily think that the player needs to decide every aspect of a character's life in a, um... Battle really in a linear story like this. And it is a linear story. It has RPG elements, but it is on rails, right? Oh, oh I have a shield wink. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... That armor of ours is impressive, to say the least. Okay, let's head over to... Here. I'm gonna take a short break, actually. Ah, finally. Um... Actually, no, I don't think I have to take a short break. Okay, so let's just, uh... What I'll do is I'll just let the, um... Cinematic play. Aloy, are you finished with your friends? Or do you need more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it.
sparks to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. All right. I see smoke. In the dot. Activity. Smoke's Sorry. probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the Daunt. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man. So he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh! Me, you refuse to transport, but not this... this... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Scallywag. <laughs> That's Aloy. Studious, Vardis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well... Not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. 
Sorry. Operator's under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. So she has a lot more respect for the Osram. Jorof. Than she does for studious bodies. It might be good to hit chain scrape first Takes and upgrade my bow. Jorof's advice. He listens to him. She looks at him in the eye. She pays attention to him. So it's not like she's disrespectful or... As some people would say, rude. I mean, Studious Bodice was rude to her, so she just gave back, right? Uh, but Jorof, like, if you looked at their interaction, it was completely back and forth interaction. It wasn't like he was uh, ordering him around or anything. She asked him a question and he replied. It was a very respectful exchange, I think, so. No? Thank you. Get this open. Got this. Yes. Alright. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. Uh, okay, let's go up. Yes. I want to make sure that I grab that. Oh my god, I keep doing that. I don't have a shield wing, that's not effective. So let's grab this camp. And let's put down a manual save here. So this is the other save file that I had. As you can see, I am, yeah, in the Dying Lands, level 15. Uh, so we will throw down a new save file. Okay. That didn't work. That guy's gone. Okay. We're going to kill some burrowers because those mm. machines must have torn through this cave. Need supplies, right? This valley definitely isn't safe. This way. If I find where these machines are made, I might learn how to override them. Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong fucking button. Last one. Where are you? Where is he? Oh, there you are. Ah, uh, okay. 
Oh my god, I was going to do the silent strike, but I actually hit R2 instead of R1. Which messed up the whole thing, and thank god I am alive. I believe there is... I thought there was a... Yeah, it's right there, okay. That was messy, but at least I can't got out of it. Okay, let's collect that one. Okay, we're gonna head straight over to... Excuse me, we're gonna head straight over to Chainscrape. This will be in my stash when I need it. Indeed. Oh, okay. A long time ago, I wrote out a route, actually, because I love this game so much. I think I'm going to try to follow that route as much as I can. It is a story-based route, so... It's not a speedrunning route or anything like that, but yeah, it's kind of... Oh, hey! There, I did not... Maybe I forgot. If there was a green shrine over here. I might as well grab that. Here? All right. Thanks, great. Here we go. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Want to come in, savior? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. The Forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. She's so easygoing. I feel like they made her younger. At least her model. In this game. Well, this old one, guys. She's so definitely like older. Like her model in could use some support. Right Zero Dawn. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. It's another reason why I can't really ship her and Petra, because Petra is a little bit older. Uh alright, let's uh grab all the quests that we can. Oh, we don't want to talk to them yet. Let's level up our stuff. Okay, before we do that, let's talk to this guy. I love what they have to say, though. Happened. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Yeah. Yeah, you! Shop's closed, Red. He just told me that. Okay. It's been upgrade. Okay, let's upgrade our hunter bow as much as we can. Ah, I can't. Okay, I need one more. No, I need more braided wire. I see, I see, I see. Level this one up though, at least. Make things a little bit easier for myself while I'm running around. 
need a fanghorn antler. No problem. No problem. Okay. You're welcome to use the workbench. We just did. Okay. All right, let's restock all categories. That's great. Our stash. Okay. Uh, resources. Okay. Why is it still marked? Okay. Also, we got some new outfits. We got the legacy, the Nora legacy outfit too. Um, I don't really, I don't have this outfit for the PlayStation 5 because I didn't play the order. Did I? Yeah, I didn't get the deluxe edition. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think I pre-ordered Horizon uh, Forbidden West on PlayStation 5. So oh, I don't know what the requirements was for getting the, this particular outfit, which you can't see because my face cam is in the way. Uh, but yeah, so we got that. Now. I'm not really a big fan of it. I don't like the fur. I'm just not a fur person, I guess. Uh, but I do love this one. So it's really cool. Anyway, um... This is a good one to start off with the Karja Behemoth Elite. So I'm actually going to... We're going to take it all, right? Take all of it. This should be useful. Yeah. So in terms of outfits to start off with... Because I do feel like we're going to melee a lot, right? More so than we're going to... Um, more so than we'll be, sh we'll, we'll be shooting. Because our stuff just isn't good yet, so... I think I'm going to equip that, but I will apply a look. Maybe I'll run around with this for a bit. So why not? Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. I like the cape. Skills. Um, okay, so what I like to start off with is concentration. And the other one is uh, right, this one here, Resonator Blast. The first strike an enemy uh, an enemy with melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. Then, when fully charged, tap R two to energize your target. Finally, switch to a bow. Okay, so we'll keep this one, and then we'll move on to Nora Warrior or the Blockbreaker afterwards. Okay. Okay. As for a notebook, let's clear some of this stuff up. Yep. So we got this. We scan the Glint Hawk. We scan the Slither Fang. The King of God, Petra, Uthid, Vanasha. Okay. Hologram, data points. Oh, this stuff. In here. I might just read the fun ones, you know? Okay, let's go to inventory and let's clear this out. Need more braided wire. That's okay. We'll hunt on the way. Okay. Uh, I forgot to actually... Yeah, weapon. A champion spear? Oh, this one too. Yes, this one. God. If I'm Wait. drunk, you! How about the strike pieces? Yeah, let's grab that one too. I put a, a bit of strike, so that's my prerogative. The hammer in this state. Hmm. Okay. Uh, outfits, weapons. All right, so we've got the frost one aimed. Okay, so I want to use this one. And then I also want to load up that one. A 
elemental one goes there for now. Okay. So Alvin blows that whistle, no one's working it. Okay. Now, I just don't know if this is to... And that's how I invented the infamous mainspring muscle. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, haha. <laughs> you can't really see it, but the... On the 4 o'clock position, I have the Nora Thundersling. On the 2 o'clock position, I have the Frost Blast Sling. And my hunter bow is at 12, and the warrior bow is at 11, or 10, rather. So, okay. Alright, so let's go talk to Petra. There is a box here. Hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, that? Okay. How can there be an underground city? Hi, strike player. Aloy. Change your mind about that brew? Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't <laughs> expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another reason why I don't like this outfit. Won't fix I don't the like forge, the boar head. <laughs> at least I can forget about my troubles for a I'm while. Sorry. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey, weapons off the table. Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. Bristlebacks. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. So what brought you here? I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well... After the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Olvind? So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. 
No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality. Uh -huh. So he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. Politics. He's a sly old badger. I'll give him that. I am so Biggest looking forward to seeing the, the claim the in Horizon 3, Gorilla. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Oh, yeah. I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame. Give her a hug. God damn it. Okay. Um... I'm gonna pretend that they gave she gave her a hug. Okay. I do want to play Strike. I'll get to it eventually. I've already gotten the achievement for playing Strike on my other playthrough because I've actually grown to not hate it. <laughs> uh, I still... I don't know. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but um, yeah. Anyway. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. It felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Alvin's people? Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but yeah, the that. equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. This place. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food more than ale. <laughs> what about that? Food? Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But. But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. <laughs> and don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Oh, it was stuttering a little bit. Okay. Yeah, if I have a... It doesn't look so bad. Like, what's my frame rate? Uh, yeah, it's still holding steady. Is dropping a little bit, but I suspect this is because we're in a settlement and there's just a lot of people around. But it's still kind of not too bad. It stabilizes at 60, so it drops a bit to 50 frames per second. Um, and my temperatures are still okay. No complaints. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm kind of over this outfit. I'm sorry to people who enjoy the Nora legacy, but, um, it's kind of, I don't like the, the boar head. I'm sorry. 
I am sorry. Uh, so we're wearing the Karja Behemoth Elite. Let's put the anointed, this one back here. I like the classic look anyway. Can't be doing any business. Uh, sorry. Didn't mean to talk to you. I want to upgrade this a little bit. I need a charger circulator. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm not worried about that yet, so I'm going to save it for what I need. And trap crafting? No, I don't. I'm not going to worry about that just yet either. Okay. All right. There's another quest up here, I believe. Or down here, rather. Nora in the daunt. Now I've seen everything. Where is it? There it is. I hope Corvin and the others are doing better than I am. That was for hire. Okay. Talk to Arna. What to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. It won't be the last century if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chainscrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but... Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? Your injury? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvind and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. Olvind? How come Olvin's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olvin that. He brought in all the back in to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Corvin? Who's Corvin? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvin... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvin who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. Guns and narrows. Okay. Yeah, I love this place. I really love this place. Like, this chain scrape, you don't see anything else like this in the Forbidden West in this entire game. You don't see architecture like this, you don't see people like this. Well, yeah, you do see people like this, but still. Alright, let's talk to you. Get your name. <laughs> The bristle. What do you want, Alvin? Javad the Some Willing. Some kind of payment. My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of use. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freeholder, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, uh, by the forge. 
Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my... saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well... Best get to it, hey? Mm -hmm. Off you go. Not so fast. Oh, you and the Karja. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more! Work stoppage. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives! Fair deal? Who are you talking to, buddy? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land He's such a who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. And who appointed if you? If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course! You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. All right, let's go, go let's back to talk to Shabbat. I bet he's in the tavern. We're just there. Look at you! <laughs> Maybe finally someone... Ah, Savior! Over here! All right, well, Talk to Javad the Willing. Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's... It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look. If you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. 
Francis. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> now I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olvind get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience... Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Okay. It's time for action. Let's uh, go and do a quick save here. All right. all right let's go i think we're done with uh looking for all the quests and upgrading all our gear through here so let's um let's go towards the mine and meet up with corvind and then whatever we find along the way. I think what we'll, we'll do is we'll get the signal towers on the way back. Um, let's see here. I'm tempted to go for Fanghorn, but I am under leveled as well. I'm only level three. Ground soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Uh, who saw me? I could use fire against it. Well, I don't have anything with fire. Eloy. There it is. Okay. Close. Uh oh. 
Where are you? Oh, damn it. Oh shit. Dying to, I hate dying to burrowers. Especially when they crowd me. Okay. Uh, let's loot. I could use all the stuff. Created wire. Yep. Sorry if I'm a little bit twitchy here. Sorry, or we need some wild meat. I'll keep some extra on hand. Get some more of this. Keep going this way. Oh, I hate this so much. <laughs> okay, I think I have enough bitter leaf. Okay, so, Banghorns are over there. I just gotta be careful with them. Because there is a good chance that I could aggro them. I don't wanna do that. I already have a bad enough time with these jerks. Uh yeah. Maybe I can leave one of these here. Scroungers. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. Uh oh. Let's see if the bomb could get rid of this one. At least damage it a little bit. Frost will hurt it. Is damaged. Okay. That's right.
Come over. I just need one good stab to the face. Is this guy not going to move? Let's see. There we go. Okay. Come over here. Hello, sir. Please come closer, dear. Oh, shit. went bad. It just went bad. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That just went bad. I did not see that one burrower. I was paying attention to the other one. I did not realize that there was one, like, literally up behind me. Oh, really? They're starting me from over here? Okay. Okay, okay. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Fine. Okay. Scroungers. Uh oh. Mold have said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. Machine will take a lot of damage from acid. Indeed it will. Sneak sneak over here. Okay. Close am I to... Okay. Hopefully nobody sees me here. damaged. Oh, yeah. Where is that other one then? Another burrower. I think there's another one here. This one's just looking at me. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh. Should I go for it? I don't know. Okay, 
there's another acid ammo could help here. Maybe. I feel like this is a really bad position here. Doing. I feel like it's confused. I feel like they're all confused. Yeah, this one's definitely stuck. <laughs> doing? Okay. What if I do this? Careful, I don't necessarily want to start another fracas here. Is there anything else? No, they haven't. So far, so good. There's another burrower up there. I could hurt it. Oh my god. This is stressful. This is really stressful, actually. I don't think I should be here. Over here. Okay, pain's easing. That was really weird. Oh 
Oh shit. That was close. Die, please. Oh my god. Could have gone bad. <laughs> You, buddy. All right. Okay. Can we clear this place? Look at the scrap piles for another sure clear this place. Okay. It only took two tries. And I'm level four now. Nice. Okay. Let's grab everything, including that chest over there that I noticed. Still need to get meat. I don't know. Panel. I will check another scrap pile. I think we should be able to find like a uh, stuff through here. Valuables. <gasps> yes. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Keep. Rock that you threw. Scrap pile. There's another chest over here. There. That should be enough wild meat for Mildiv. I think this. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Yep. Good thing too. I can use a decent meal. Okay. Over here, there is a campfire that we could tag while we're here. Okay. Go through here. Oh, that's right. Okay. Nope. I am done with snow, let me tell you. Are these more burrowers? 
Fire will make things easier. I think there's a. Yeah. Come on. What here? Come a little closer. I'm not going to say no to more metal parts. Anything else back there? It's just two? Okay. Discover the burrower site. We don't need it. There is two. Okay, let's just keep going. I know we're gonna go through some chargers over here, but I'm not ready to deal with chargers yet. So I'll just try to run as fast as I can. Coming from where Arnav said I'd find his crew. Over here. Holding us those boars. I think in real life I would be this a shitty hunter. Told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. Okay. That looks like the foreman Arnif mentioned. We should hey. check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin. Arnav sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We used control blast to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Yes, we will. Oh, come on, really? Come closer then. Corbins could teach me how to override these machines. But where would they be? Let me deal with you. Will I deal with you as well? Let's say no to some extra shards. Come over. Okay. Alright, so... That was fine. We'll just go. They're not gonna follow me into here. Gotta find those two miners. Quick. Okay. I don't like underwater quests, so. Hello? Can anyone hear me? 
over here? Doesn't look too good. Is that a Nora? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I. I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I. I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah, she'll still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. <laughs> are you crazy? I love the Yastrom. can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. All right. I need to make things worse. Is this the right place? Almost there. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that truck, maybe I can blast with the blockage. Okay, go up there. Okay. Jack is looking at me. Sorry. Okay. Let's go. A little bit more platforming here. Nope. Not that way. Oh my goodness. How am I forgetting how this worked? Oh, well, here it is. Okay. So. Up. Upsy daisy. Let's go. Many dungeons aren't fun. Okay, that's not true. Yes, they are. Go here. Maybe I can see the past in there. Let's uh, grab whatever's in here. Let's go up here. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. I think we're safe under here for a bit. Let's see. Here is a shit of a fire. Oh man, the right all of them right on top of me. Okay. Let's go back here, actually. So, if this was New Game Plus, and I had the rebreather, I would be able to actually go further down, because there's some loot below there. yellow water. Hide out for a bit. So the trick here is I stay still. I don't use as much oxygen. But yeah, if I go further down, there's loot down there, but I can't do it without the rebreather. Here. So an ultra hard, I have to be a little bit strategic because, as you could see, they could easily one shot me. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. 
Okay. Where's the other one? Okay, so I could use these mushrooms to hide, I think. I think I should be able to. I'm call them. There we go. And now we're just one on one with the other guy. find a way out of this room. Whew. That was, uh, her wing. Okay. Let's loot. Uh, I need to find a way up to those explosives. Calm down, Aloy. We'll get there. We'll get there. Right now, we are looting. We need stuff, right? So... Follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. We should. Okay. Let me go this way. Let's see where this leads. Let's loot this box. And there's another chest over here. This one looks like a nicer chest. I know where we are. Explosives up on the track. Just I feel like this should be some loot here. Okay. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. What we need to do is we need to grab this beam. Okay. That. Okay. And we always follow the loot. When you see loot, you follow it. I'll guide you true. There, we're here. Before we get started, let's make sure we have all our... Can I grab this? We'll be a little bullet here, will I? Okay. Alright, let's go. Got its attention. Ok. 
Okay. One down. No, why are there so many? Oh, keep me in the fight. God. That's all of them. I can't I believe I didn't die. Okay. All right. Let's like loot everything here. There's a lot of good loot here. I'm gonna eat everything. Okay. There's also that up there. Let's pull this out. Looting is definitely more important than helping miners. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Alrighty, up there. Can't get up there. Okay, god damn it. How am I supposed to get that? We <laughs> just loot it from behind this wall. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, there's one more here. There we go. All right. Very good. Okay, I think we're done here. Just take one quick pass. Yeah, we are done. Pull this out. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, um, just and back to so <laughs> We don't know that. The miners. Hello. That looks like everyone's okay. <laughs> I can't believe we're not gonna die! <laughs> you did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Kid? Okay. Very good. So, that was successful. I'm gonna come back here for a second, because I think there's some, uh, where was that? Nope, not that way. There was, I know there was a purple chest. Come on! In one of the Up other chambers. Go. Not that way. Like this one here. Just yeah. give me a minute. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. Well, I thought there was a purple chest somewhere. Did it go away? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, there it is. get knocked in the head with that. Yeah, there's a lot of nice loot here. Stuff I could sell, stuff I could use. Alright, so we're done here. Ooh, 
that was fun. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvent, uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Thank Ulvan's you, Huntress. name keeps coming up. I'll see the last two it's make it out. Good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Oh, I got the Ostrom Artificer. Oh, come on. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Should be safe here. Okay. There's some shelter over here. And I think this is where we're going to call this stream. Thank you so much. If anybody has been watching this, uh, for hanging out with me while we play Horizon Forbidden West, the complete edition, um, on PC. Come on, don't look at me. Anyway. I'm gonna kind of hide over here. <laughs> you saw me. You? Sure, Grandma would come in oh, handy. Oh, charger. What a stupid place to put a shelter. Um... I just want to go to the shelter and I just kind of oh come on I just want to use the shelter I will kill you come over here then let me kill you Marvin, help me. Oh, they're all over there. What the actual fuck? Okay, I guess I'm not finished the stream just yet. <laughs> what you get for not letting me use my shelter. Come on, buddy. Don't do this to me. Okay. How 
I was happy to let you graze. My weapons are not that great yet. Here is pretty bad. How about I hide? And I let you do your thing, and you guys go away eventually so I could use a shelter in peace. Does that sound good? I don't have, like, a lot of stuff yet. I don't have my smoke bombs. I don't have... I don't have a lot of potions or anything like that. I just would like to use the shelter. I don't want to get to go away from here. I want to... End this freaking stream at this shelter. <laughs> Can I do that? Okay. Okay, so... Alright. Outfit upgrades? Can I upgrade something? So I can upgrade one of this. Which I will probably need. I need a charger horn. Ironically enough. Let's create a job for that. Um, Weapon upgrade. Let's... Uh, max out the hunter bow. And can I upgrade this at all? No, I cannot. I'll make a job for that, though. Your legacy of Thunder Elite Anointed. Okay. I don't really need to upgrade any of these, so I'm gonna just save my stuff for that. Okay. And... Oh, I can't even save here. Please. What if I go far away? I want to save. Anyway. Well, I'm going to wait for these assholes to go away. And when I do, then I'll save here. And if... I think my next stream will definitely be Baldur's Gate 3. We're going to continue with our honor mode in that. And then sometime after that, then, or sometime during that, I don't know when. I'm not a professional streamer. I could play whenever I like. Then I'll get to playing the rest of uh, Horizon Forbidden West. So we'll continue on throughout the daunt. But in the meantime, happy birthday, Aloy. Thank you so much. Anybody who's out there. Uh, for hanging out with me while I play Horizon Forbidden West, and I hope to see you again soon. Check out my channel. Um, there'll be a playlist here. It'll be called the Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition Ultra Hard Mode. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, there'll be a playlist for that. And I will continue on through streaming this game because I love it so much. And hopefully this time I will finish it. Bye!